Hello, this is Kelly P-B, my video channel um, for YouTube, and um, I just wanted to uh, come to you and just talk to you, and it's more of a prayer request that I'm asking for. And I hate making things public because I don't like doing videos like this. But I'm asking for people that no matter what would at least keep us in our thoughts and our prayers because um, my daughter and you're seeing me in my all natural state after getting all my makeup off and everything. Dollar Tree Hall, yeah, um, if you guys can see that. I really don't get much acne, but it does really help, and it's a cleanser that helps me, and um, it's got sandalwood oil in it. I love it. Along with, um, I have, I do have a little acne spot right there coming out, and I am... Um, using that right now. It's because I'm stressed. And when I'm stressed, a lot of things come out. And um, I'm trying out, which, excuse me, I'm going to do one thing and wipe right across. Actually, I'm going to pause for just a moment. Okay, I'm back. That still didn't remove that spot. Well, if I stand here, it does. If I go over here, I got a spot. Spot that kind of shows up right here and I don't know if it will show up on the video or not but it's kind of weird but um so you're getting to see me in my all natural state yeah oh my goodness that just freaked me out my stand that I was just going to talk about just let loose. So I'll be right back with you because I'm going to reset this and see if it works again. And actually put a towel in my sink so that it doesn't break my tablet. So, yeah, you get to see the natural part of me. Which, for 48, is... My husband says I look really good, and he likes my natural state, but I like to wear my makeup because when I go in, I actually got called that I was 27 years old um, at a place that just shocked me, and um, the guy was so nice. And I mean, he wasn't being just polite, he actually thought I was that when I was dressed up. And I had my hair done up. So just give me a moment and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And I hope that this holds. Um, it's a new bracket that I got that I'm actually going to put in my vehicle. I thought I'd just try it in here in my bathroom. And I kind of look like a mess, so I do apologize. And I'm filling up my... Uh, that is my water bottle. I'm not gonna run out and get another one really quick. But um yeah you get to see me in my natural state. But I'm asking that all of my followers and ones that may be looking at um my videos and are not subscribed, which I pray that you would subscribe and um, share my videos. I have a very eclectic type of um, videos that I have. A lot of it is in regards to my grandbaby at this point in time, which is one of the things that I'd really like to have you keep in your prayers. Um, my son-in-law and daughter um, basically got screwed over by a man. My 
son-in-law work for nothing for this guy and in turn um, was supposed to get property and he went and he put it off for some time uh, going to an attorney to get it put on paper and knowing this guy um, and I don't want to call him a gentleman I just call him a guy because that's not a gentlemanly way what he did gave an eviction notice for them to leave and they'd been on the property for over um, two years and for him to sit there and use my son-in-law the way he has for free work and the only time my son-in-law made money was after hours so he was putting in approximately 16 to 18 hours a day if not more there were sometimes he didn't even get any sleep and um has been harassed and called names but has been given an eviction notice and as of november 25th they will have no place to stay i mean i do have a lot at the end of my driveway because I live 350 feet off the road that um, they could put a trailer that they live in but to haul this trailer because it was given to them free to make another haul and to do as much work that needs to be done to the trailer because the uh, haul really did some wear and tear on the trailer that um, it's really, really caused some issues with the trailer. So there'd have to be some supporting done. Even though it's fine for them to live in, so long as it's not moved. But to sit there and move it the six and a half, seven miles that it needs to be moved is another story. So um, saying that, I mean, we could sit there and easily have another trailer put on our lower lot, um, which we said we'd never rent to anybody because we had a bad experience. And um, I've still got stuff in the courts in regards to um, the people that lived there and rented the lot before. And it just sits there as a standing. So if they ever come into Crawford County again, that um, they will have to sit there and pay myself out first if there's ever a claim made against them. And um, for this man to do that and call my son-in-law and daughter and my grandbaby of all things wanting to be, you know, Papa, Grandpa, and they're not even related, it really kind of stuck in my throat like a frog that was poisonous. And um, what he's done is not right by any means. And to know that they have a little child and that my son-in-law is having a problem with his um, ankle and he's had an abscessed tooth but all these things are getting taken care of because he's going through soon which my daughter is call, was supposed to be calling um, today in regards to my son-in-law having the gastric sleeve done because he's six foot two and is um yes overweight i was i had gastric bypass done and um if you notice i the stress has gotten to me so bad that even my face has started to sink in um matter of fact my doctor noticed it and had me weigh and i lost 22 pounds almost 22 pounds in 29 days 
with the stress that's been going on. So I'm asking and I'm reaching out to the few that are in my family here on YouTube. Because I'm not one that really has a lot of friends. Maybe because I'm just too bold. I mean, I have male friends that are, they adore me. And they're really, really nice. But female friends, I really don't have them. And the ones that have been around my daughter, they give me a hug. And they love me up, which I love them. And I'm thankful for the ones, and they know who they are, that are helping out. I mean, my son, my middle son, Stephen, lives with us. He helps out. And I'm so thankful for um, the ones that are standing there and praying and helping and just giving the opportunity that I pray that my children are not homeless because I'm constantly posting things of my grandbaby. And I mean, if it means that my husband and I have got to sleep on the couches, we'll do that. If we have to give them a roof over their heads, if they don't have anything, but what this man has done is not right by any means. He's taken two years of my daughter's husband and his work for free and just used him. And it's wrong. It's 100% wrong. And I'm just asking that you pray that the situation turns around for them and that they can get into a home. Like I said, my home's always open. I want a roof over my head for my grandbaby. I think she may have chicken pox. Um, I was watching her yesterday and I found a spot that was a red circle with the white head on it and she's been around a lot of kids and um, during the time in the incubation period it would fall during um, her birth her first birthday party and a lot of kids are in school and chicken pox and hand foot and mouth are going around but where she's got it at is not hand foot and mouth and it's just so much stress because we're trying to get our wood in and trying to get things around in our own home. And I've had more focus on them and have let things go here. And I've taken the grandbaby and... I'm going to take her on Sunday because it's Nana and Papa's day that we want to have with her because she's doing great. So I'm praying that it isn't chicken pox. I mean, even my sister-in-law looked and said, yeah, it could be. Let's keep an eye on her for a couple of days and see how she does. Because my father-in-law um, had shingles and he's contagious right now. And if you haven't had the chicken pox, you're not around, supposed to be around those people. Well, my daughter was around my mother-in-law and father-in-law and um, their un her uncle that lives still lives at home has um, been around them. And in turn, they um, have ran into the fact that there's, there could be that great possibility. So, 
just keep my grandbaby, Sierra, in your prayers. My daughter, Siobhan, and my son-in-law, John. And my household. Because, I mean, we're helping uh, not only that, but my oldest son, who fell off a tree stand. And I've said this story before, and I don't want to go into it. But we've... And he's been standing quite well on his own, but, um, we've had to help him a little bit, but we are trying to help three households on my husband's income, and I get very little money, and it's been very, very stressful, and I just pray that we get the right president that will change this country and make it better and that I am and I'm going to tell you flat out I am a Trump supporter Hillary Clinton's been around the block and hasn't proven a whole lot of stuff in my eyes so I'm praying that um, God puts the right person in office, the one he wants, whether it be the one that I support or whether I don't, just so long as it's the one that God wants in the White House to be our commander-in-chief for our troops, for our country, and for the sake of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm not perfect, I am human, but I love you guys, and I'm going to let you guys go, because I don't want to cry, but I just wanted to let you know, I'm working on a little DIY project that um, is kind of geared towards Halloween, but yet it's more, for me, um, Lord of the Rings. I like dragons so that's something to look for and I'm also looking at giving away a big giveaway it's going to be an eclectic type of giveaway but it's going to be a big giveaway so I really want you guys to keep an eye out and subscribe because it's going to be a lot of different things. Everything from mechanical items that you can use for your vehicle to um, makeup to um, scrapbooking to um, just facial care in itself that I have accumulated and is still brand new in the package and I just want to bless the ones that have been there for me and loved me and cared for me and given me hope and been support for me. So I just want to say thank you. So, I mean, it's not going to be a little thing. This is going to be a big box. I might even divide it into half to make two giveaways. I haven't decided yet. I might do one big box and then do a um, gift card I've been thinking about. So um, I'm going to pray about it and see where God wants me to go with it. But I want to bless people because I feel blessed to be able to do this. And I'm going to say bye. Okay. I always say peace out, everybody, because we got to have peace. I love you guys so much. And I call you my peeps. Everybody uses that, but it's like, you're like my kids. No matter how old you are, you're like my kids. And I just, I've always had my door open to kids. So... Yeah, maybe I say peeps and it's something it might offend you guys. I don't mean it in an offensive way. 
and that I just want to say, keep it rocking for the Lord because he loves us and he loves to hear us sing and dance before him. So let's just pray and be happy and pray for our country, our soldiers, and where our presidency is going to go. And I'm going to say bye for now. Okay. Love you guys. With all my heart. Bye.